who dares to enter this realm, of which I so ugly my life to spin? Who goes there? I can see you, so talk to me face to face. How dare you disregard my statement as an untruth? You are quite foolish to confess me as that. What do you mean you can't see me? That's the light is bad. I'm, I'm over here. Can you truly not see me? Oh, yes, I am so forgetful. I am always so forgetful. I keep on forgetting the contract of the postmortems. I am truly sorry. It is not usually the case that I forget the laws, which I must apply to myself. Am I visible to you now? So, now that my apparition is in your presence, I must ask for the reason that you are within my realm. You stumbled into here as a part of a dare, and you say that these are your friends who have done this. But for what reason? Would an amicable associate give such a request? It seems only for the intention of causing trouble on your person. I dare say, if I were in such an association with you in that manner, which of course I am not, but if I were, I would never implore you to indulge in such dangerous scenarios. A test of bravery? But what means would it have to willingly put oneself in such a perilous danger, or at least such a perceived danger. Bravery is not proven by ignorantly putting oneself through such actions for a causeless result, but rather to bring about the cause of some sort of justice in some capacity. Have I truly changed that much with the times? Well, of course I would not be consistent with modernity. The age there which I originate from is far gone and antiquated by now. However, I may not truly be correct in my assessment. Time has not been known to me for a long time that I can remember. There's no extraction to be held to. I'm unable to give into such perceptions as I once have been able to. Uh, uh, I must be careful with my tongue, shouldn't I? Truly shall I reform my meaningless lexicon without its context. I merely mean, as a spectre, it is difficult to stay true to the perception of time and other such variables as I have once been able to do. I do not experience time as one who is as physical as you are, is able to. Well, why do I not experience time properly? That is truly a magnificent question. I suppose the simplest answer is that I am attached to this house from my past regrets, and thus I am doomed to eternally haunt this mansion. What regrets do I have? If I knew, I would have fixed them long ago. Regardless, it is not even a real matter. You should stay and recalibrate the seemingly broken and unhinged relations you have with your own friends. It is ridiculous to think you will be able to fix my problems if you cannot fix your own. Defensive? How dare you accuse me of being defensive? What reasons would I have to be defensive? Trying to hide something? What would I have to hide? Aren't I already see-through? So how can I be any more transparent? Uh, truly, I jest. But regardless, I do not have anything to hide. I assure you, there is nothing to hide. If I truly knew what I regret, I would have told you. Yet, I have no clue. However, I think that it would be proper if you were to help. I believe your associates would expect you to stay here for a long amount of time. So, would it not be best for you to stay and help me find what I would thus regret. I appreciate your actions, 
quite kind of you. I suppose we should look around the mansion in order to find possible clues. Yes. Uh, I suppose we should start with the kitchen. Follow me. Ah, the kitchen. I've had a wondrous amount of delicacies cooked up in these quarters. I had once tried my hands at bakering, yet I have never quite mastered the art. Oh, is that my regret? Of course not. It never was aught needed to be a blood chef, and it wants more, never my ideal. I was of a higher mercantile class, not quite of the nobility, but very close. I had influence, and I had to manage the commerce within this region. When it was its own, obviously, I had chefs and cooks to cook for me. Hmm. This is an interesting point. It might be because I never truly experienced euphoria of extreme delicacy. Yes. Yes. It might be that. Let me think. Perhaps it was a spice from the Indies that I was not able to taste. Hmm. But, uh, what did I think of it? How would I achieve and fulfill such regret as a spectral being I am? Perhaps we should look somewhere else. Ah, yes. Let us try the next room over, the, the library. What a fantastical amount of books, would you not say? Yes, I know. I've collected many of these books from my great travels across Europe. They are literatures from Russia, Prussia, Austria, the Rhine, <laughs> the Netherlands, France, Northern Italy, and from just all about the continent. Each place I had to visit in order to garner new vessels, contracting, or commerce negotiations, I made sure to pick up some bibliography for my collection. Actually, I'm a great deal fluent within many of these languages. My Latin and French are obviously the greatest in my speaking besides my own native tongue. However, I gained some knowledge in Dutch and German as I moved commercial affairs towards the north, especially after the revolution. My Italian is respectable, I believe, but my Russian is abysmal. Regardless, I can still read the script. Yes, yes, it might be that. It might be a regret of a lack of knowledge, or perhaps that of a lack of books. There's a possibility of feeling incomplete from the amount of stories in here that I haven't read. Let me think. What books of stories haven't I read? Quite a few whilst I was in the realm of the living, obviously. And, of course, an even greater amount after I had died. So, there aren't any that I feel I haven't read, or at least wanted to read. I have already told you. I can't think of any regrets. I particularly don't regret things in life. I believe all things build character in a odd way, yet still there has to be something holding me back. I still truly thank you for helping me, but I, I wish not to hold you here any further. You still want to help me, even after I have just wasted so much of your time? Well, I suppose that means we should move one room over to the master bedroom. Uh, that is where I used to sleep before my death. Ah, uh, there's my good old bed. I wish I could still lay on it, but this firm doesn't allow for that. Regardless, this is where I'd spent many restless nights by my lonesome. Well, I wasn't necessarily all by myself in this mansion. It was primarily my parents before they had died, and it was still filled with servants of mine. 
fact, I believe that they serve the next owner after this mansion had been passed on when I died. Well, of course there was a different owner. I had no heir. On this very bed, I had died of a heart condition at about the age of 24, if I remember correctly. So, there would have been no time for me to be locked into marriage, let alone produce an heir, unless I were to be scandalous, of course. But I'm not. What do you mean? How would I have been able to find a wife at such an age? Truly, I tell you that it is very difficult for me to express feelings such as that. I would have not accepted anything less than what my good would have told me. If it can lead me through my business, surely it would be able to lead me through my life and subsequent relations. Yet, people are very hard to talk to in such a manner. My words were meant for deals, not courting. You think that it could be that I regret not finding love? <laughs> Surely that is a fallacy. How can I need love? That surely has to be a joke, is it not? It, it's not. Then how do you suggest I fulfill such a regret? Finding love is no ordinary task. I will tell you that. What advice can you give me? You willingly listen to your friends who put you in a dangerous situation. I believe you have no clue what you are talking about. What in the world do you mean? You have an idea or two on what to do? That statement is purely lacking in logic. Why did you just try to slam your head into mine? That is absolutely nonsensical. Are you attempting to make me unconscious? A kiss? But why? We barely know each other. Is that how you wanted to solve my problem? I see to what extent that could possibly solve it. However, I do not believe that a kiss would solve it. That is something that only happens in fictitious stories from areas such as like Central Europe. Or at least those brought over. Perhaps, so I could give it an attempt. But very truly, I tell you, this is only to see if that is the thing of which I regret. It would be best for you to return whenever you feel it is best to have such a date. It mustn't be today, though. It will seem as if you have already made your impression. I do not believe it suitable to attempt the court with someone on the day of. I believe someone essential Europeans would do that.